Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Lilac Love Heart here. I am going to be looking at the Artist Loft Pastel watercolor set. This kind of looks like the Arteza one. I don't have that, but I know how it works. So let's jump right into it. I forgot to show the back of the box. The reason I think these are the Arteza set, just maybe one or two colors off, is because the color selection is eerily similar. Not only that, but the pan, the tin itself, is very similar too. It's even got the little ring on the bottom. Set that down and we open this up. Get this. You can pause it and read it. Oh man. Yeah. Those uh those colors right there. That's ringing a really large bell. Okay, that aside, I haven't really mentioned the price yet. These cost me $20, $19.99 USD. I'm sure if you use a coupon at Michael's, you'll be able to get them a little bit cheaper. But I paid $19.99. I know the Arteza set retails for around $24 to $36 depending on where you look. So here are what they look like. These are normal half pans, individually wrapped, which I find is very annoying. So let me go ahead and unwrap these. Okay, I thought I broke it, but I didn't. It seems that the whole tin, the whole tin is a mixing palette. So that's, that's pretty cool. That took a, a way longer than expected. This is a indeed broke hand problem. I just want to start off with um, a lot of brands like these. I just kind of want to put this disclaimer to so I don't get sued. I'm not going after them. I love these brands. Uh, buy it or not, I don't care. This is not an endorsement for one or the other. Um, I gotta put that in there. And I'm not sponsored by anyone or affiliated. Um, but these are usually your private brand labels, uh, so we don't know who the manufacturer is, but it's obvious that a lot of these brands that we are buying from have the exact same manufacturer, and that is very much so obvious here. Especially in the pamphlet, which also doesn't list the manufacturer, it just lists some very, very, very common and similar names to other brands. So we'll go ahead and swatch these, and I'll give you guys a little bit of a view of my jelly rolls here. Hold on. Ooh, sparkly. I'm going to turn it black and white so you can see the values that we get. We'll go on and I'll try to do a small illustration with these. They don't seem too bad. Um, it's still drying. They feel a little chalky right off the bat, but that's kind of to be expected with your um, pastels. They'll be mixed in with a lot of white. But to give these a fighting chance, I did a very simple illustration. Kotoba was a song from Noatobi, and I really liked it. So I kind of took the little sandal um, album cover and added to it <laughs> in my own little way. Uh, so let's let's start coloring this.
I just wanted to interject and say that these are mid-tones. You're not going to get a deep value with them, so don't expect it. Pastels tend to also be very opaque. As you can tell, it is starting to cover up some of my lines, which is okay for this case. I'm not really looking for precision. It's just supposed to be something that's cute and also um, to test out some techniques like lifting, if you can lift it easily, which, yeah, it's it's pretty liftable. Whether you can layer it easily, whether it likes to do a little granulation stuff nicely, and it does, and just some other smaller techniques. It is not perfect, but I would say this early on before even finishing this small little illustration um, it is a pretty good set for a beginner because you can test out all these techniques and it's definitely doable with these pastels. Okay, so here's an update on how it looks after I attempted to add in depth. I will be adding in Jelly Roll next and then just as an aside, we will be adding in some alcohol inks. This is a sad song. I want there to be a little bit more emotion than happy-go-lucky fun pastel colors. Okay, I have gone in and added the glitter. It's super glittery. I love it. Now we add even more glitter with the rainbow alcohol ink. So now that is done, let's try it with the camera off, or light off. So it looks like dirt stains, but it's not. It's so glittery. On top of this deeply satisfying glitter that we have on here, pretty background, we're going to do this, and it's going to look like blood. turn of events, I ended up embroidering it down to my paper. I don't have any tape at the moment, but this is it. This is my finished product. I think it performed well for what it's worth. $19 versus some other brands have it up to $36 to $40 for the same quality pan pastel watercolor set. Or you could just get a nice 12 set of regular colors and add a lot of water as you go to achieve that and maybe your lines won't get covered up like what mine did. The downsides, they're very chalky, um, they get very muddy very easily with just overlaying them and I don't know, they're not as transparent as I'd want them to be. They layered pretty well, they blended pretty well don't have many downsides to these. These are these are pretty good. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want.